Hey guys, what's up? This is Place the Movie, and it is time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie The Master. Now, The Master is a movie that I was looking forward to ever since I heard of it back when it was new in theaters. And I expected the movie to be good. I expected it to be different from most other movies that I see in theaters. And I did get a very good movie. I did enjoy it. So this movie is basically about people who sail around the ocean. And most of the movie does take place at a boat. Of course, the most important thing about the movie is the characters. And let me tell you, I think that most of the actors in the movie did a very good job with the characters that they were playing. My favorite character of the movie is Lancaster Dot, played by Philip Seymour Hoffman. Philip Seymour Hoffman did such a fucking fantastic job on his character and I really cared about that character a lot. He was an incredibly nice guy, treated everyone around him with respect and it was overall just very fun to be around him and I would love to be around with him in person. He was that great and he was also a writer who makes books. And of course a lot of people like his books but other than that, he is also a very awesome guy to hang around with. Another character that I want to talk about is Freddy Cool, played by Joaquin Phoenix. Now he is a guy who has a lot of alcohol problems and drinks alcohol a lot during this movie. Now I didn't care about him or like him nearly as much as I liked Lancaster, but he was still a pretty good character. Another thing that I must mention is that those two characters talk to each other a lot and were very good friends. And I really liked that. As for the rest of the characters, well, I didn't care much for the rest of them. But I will say though that all the actors did a good job on the characters that they played. Now, what else is there to talk about? Oh yes, I expected this movie to be a dialogue driven movie. And that's what I got. This movie does have a lot of dialogue. And I was interested in everything that was being discussed. And not only is the dialogue in this movie interesting, it's also fucking fantastic. My favorite part of the dialogue is when afterlife and past life was being discussed. As you guys might or might not know, I really believe in that stuff and I'm a big fan of that stuff. So I really enjoyed when the characters were talking about that. But despite the fact that this movie has a lot of dialogue, this movie doesn't have just dialogue. There is more going on in this movie than just that. And I think that the scenes where there was something going on other than dialogue are very good scenes and I enjoyed them. Another thing that I like about this movie is the setting. Most of this movie takes place on a boat. And I really like that a lot because that's a lot different setting from other movies. Well, of course, there were a lot of scenes who didn't take place on a boat. But I still think that the majority of the movie did take place on a boat. And it was an awesome looking boat. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Wow, this is definitely one of those movies that I should have watched before the end of 2012. Would it have made it to my best movies of 2012 list? No, it wouldn't. But I still liked it. Now, I can't say that this is a fun movie because it's not really a fun movie. But just because a movie isn't fun doesn't mean that it can't be good. And this movie is fantastic despite the fact that it's not really a fun movie. And for that I am going to give this movie two thumbs up. Yep, I am giving it my highest rating because I truly think that this movie is fucking fantastic. And if you guys haven't checked it out already, you should check it out. Just keep in mind that it's not a fun movie. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.